This is just a quick video to give you a bit of a um, rundown on the Discovery. Hopefully you'll be able to see some of the gauges there, such as the um, temperature gauge, the EGT gauge, as well as the, um, the revs that I'm doing. This little uh, wonderful little end spot here is, is um, a uh, little, um, it's not a beach area, but it's a, I suppose a dog exercise area and so on um, at the end of Howden. Okay, have a look at the revs and the EGT. Don't know if you'll be able to see that, but now um, beforehand it was it used to struggle past 3,000 RPM. It just it was almost like it was choked. As I uh, discovered, the um, diaphragm in the ejector pump has a little plastic spacer which prevents the, uh, the entire diaphragm and pin going further down, allow more fuel to come through. And um, since removing that, I've been, um, this has been great, it's, it's been fantastic how this has been um, driving. I mean, I'm not the type of guy to give it a you know, bootload, but uh, I tell you what, it's uh, it certainly um, 
get the blood going when you can see when you can actually feel it um, breathing you can feel the performance of this 2.5 turbo diesel engine and um, and having the EGT sensor there just gives you so much more confidence to be able to give it a little bit when you need to um, and, and having the pump tweak has just completely transformed this vehicle as I said I just I just accelerate slightly and I can hear the turbo spooling up um, and it spools earlier because I've actually reduced the uh, or turned 90 degrees uh, clockwise the uh, the um, gear in the diaphragm to, to reduce the spring preload or what they call it, I think they call it the star wheel so all in all it's um, it's been a very positive change as I mentioned in my videos I'm no uh, mechanic I'm not a uh, diesel specialist or anything like that I just read what I needed to read on the line online fitted the EGT made a few tweaks and the only compromise is that I initially did say I wanted to keep my uh, the EGT levels below 720 degrees Celsius at full load and um, what I found was if I if I turn back the main screw on the injector pump so limiting more of the fuel going into the injector pump I actually sacrificed quite a bit of top end so I actually screwed a quarter of a turn allowing more fuel to go in and this has obviously raised the EGT but again it's controllable it's not it's not um, rising um, at a rate where I feel uncomfortable I think I think for the 99% of times that I'm driving that I've got that extra responsiveness that I need um, it's, it's a benefit for me and of course when I'm towing when I'm going up big hills etc etc I just keep an eye on the um, EGT and if I need to back off I back off simple as that so at least I've, I've got that um, the comfort of being able to do that 